Here is 22 crazy facts about the flashlight from doors. Fact number one, the flashlight can actually be found in a few places. These places are drawers, inside of chests, on top of desks, and also inside the study. And for the players who actually have money, you have the option to buy in the pre-run shop or Jeff shop. So keep those eyes peeled, you'll most likely find one. Fact number two, flashlights can actually spawn as early as the reception room, which is literally the first room in the game, so don't speed run in that room because you actually might find a flashlight in there. Give it a look, check the drawers, check the desk, maybe you'll get lucky. You can also find like money and lockpicks there, but yeah, mostly the flashlight, which is very good. Fact number three, Having a light source and especially the flashlight will dramatically decrease the spawn chance of Screech. So if you don't want Screech coming to say hello, you better keep that bad boy on and hope for the best. Fact number four. So therefore, you should only use the flashlight in dark rooms. Duh. Because the main purpose of the flashlight is to reduce the spawn chance of Screech. I know it does help you see your surroundings, but the main objective is to make sure Screech doesn't spawn. So only use it in the dark rooms. I know that's obvious, but hey, it's still a fact. Trust me guys, there's a fact in here that you do not know. But before the next pack, can you guys please hit that like button and maybe if you like, subscribe because it helps the video tremendously and we're trying to hit 60,000 subscribers and hopefully eventually one day, 100,000. Thanks again and uh, let's back to the facts. Fact number 5EYV. If your flashlight's running low, don't worry, because there's a lot of batteries around. Just check a drawer, check a crate, because you will most likely find a battery. Just loot a bit, and I'm sure you can find one in a matter of minutes. Don't worry. Fact number 6E Wixie. The cool thing about these batteries though, they only spawn if there's an active player in the lobby who has a flashlight. So if no other player has a flashlight, these batteries will not spawn. I have heard of stories of people supposedly saying that they've seen batteries spawn when no one has a flashlight, but I'm gonna be honest, I think that's completely BS. I've seen no proof of it. But if this did happen to anyone watching this video, let me know in the comments because I'm genuinely curious. Fact number seven, if you do manage to find a battery, it's going to recharge the flashlight up to 25%, meaning if your flashlight's completely dead, it's going to take up to four batteries to fully recharge it. Fact number eight, a flashlight with a full battery can be turned on for three continuous minutes before being depleted. Is it just me, but doesn't it feel like the flashlight dies between like 30 to 40 seconds after using it? I know I speedrun a lot, so I'm kind of like, sometimes I forget to turn the flashlight off. Sometimes I'm pretty good at it, but it feels like the flashlight it dies way quicker than three minutes. Maybe that's just me though. How about you? Does it feel like that? I don't know. It's weird. Fact number nine. So with the knowledge of the last fact, picking up one battery will grant the user 45 more seconds of usability on their flashlight. Double digit 10. Unlike the lighter, the flashlight will stay in the inventory even when its batteries have fully drained. Fact number 11. The flashlight allows players to move through dark rooms more easily, lighting up the way in front of you, unlike the lighter which simply provides light to the surrounding area only. And this comparison is literally night and day. The flashlight shows you so much further down the room than the lighter does, and in my opinion the flashlight makes you feel a lot less claustrophobic, especially in the dark lever room when you're trying to find the lever. Very helpful having the flashlight instead of the lighter. Huh? Guys, we need to have a serious discussion in the YouTube comments today. There is basically two teams within the Doors community. There's the lighter enjoyers, and then you have the flashlight fans. Who's better? I want you guys to fight in the comments, be as ruthless as you want, on which is the better light source, the lighter or the flashlight. Let you guys decide. I'm, I'm, I'm curious, I wanna see what happens. I'm on team flashlight, but maybe, just maybe, the lighter enjoyers might have the better argument and convince me to change. Let's see in the comments. Fact number 12. Should all players have a light source within the lobby? Flashlight will stop spawning completely, but that's a huge W, because it's gonna make lockpicks and pills spawn a lot more common once everyone has lights, and it's gonna make the game a lot more easier. Unlucky 13. This is one of the rarest items in game. Players will encounter pills, lockpicks, and lighters way more frequently than finding flashlights. I know there's the crucifix and the skeleton key. I said one of the rarest, not the rarest. Fact number 14. This is the only item that costs 200 gold in Jeff's shop. The longpick is 150, pills are 150, and the lighter is 100. 
number 15, 15. Burger, Burger King, King foot, foot lettuce. lettuce. I hate this joke so much. Please stop letting me say this. I hate, I genuinely hate this so much. Please make the agony stop. Please. <laughs> make the agony stop. Make the agony stop. The flashlight costs 100 knobs in the pregame shop. Crazy fact. Number 16. When a flashlight is turned on with one third power or less, it will momentarily flicker to indicate the low power. I won't lie. Sometimes when the light flickers, I think Rush is coming. I just get like startled and a little scared. I piss my pants a little bit. Number 17. Further, when it's turned on to one eighth power or less, it fills the light up at first, causing the player to hit it in order for it to do so. The good old, the good old one, two. The good old one, two, you know? The good old one, two. Remember guys, if you have a viewer who hasn't subscribed yet, give them the good old remind them and fix them just like in the doors to hit that subscribe button because a viewer who isn't subscribed that's broken bro gotta give it the good old one too <laughs> i'm going through a manic episode of right now i'm really sorry fact number 18 when the flashlight finally dies the light abruptly shuts off causing the player to hit the flashlight two times but the light fails to turn on the good old sadly won't work that time fact number 19 when a flashlight spawns in the next room, the previous room has a chance of spawning batteries. That's some crazy door magic, I guess, I don't know. Fact number 20. If somehow the player makes it to the end of the game while still having their flashlight in hand, and it's still having enough power left, they can still freely turn the flashlight on and off while in the cutscene in the elevator. That's a mouthful. I don't know about you, but I can't see Bruh. when looking for those fuses, so I'm burning through that flashlight within like 30 seconds trying to find like fuse one to two, like 10. That Bruh. dark in there, I cannot comprehend something on the flight making to the map. That, that's, that's bonkers, bro. Bonkers. Fact number 21. The pre-shop item description states that the batteries are not included, but the flashlight will have 50% battery life, which approximately is 1 minute and 30 seconds. So honestly, I don't know what they mean by that. If it's turning on, there's obviously some sort of battery in it. Number 22. The flashlight is always a better option to buy instead of the lighter because of the price per second of light you get with the flashlight and batteries are common to keep the flashlight on. While the lighter will die a lot quicker and doesn't provide as much light as the flashlight. So the lighter is quite the inferior light source compared to the Giga Chad flashlight that we all just dearly love. Fact number 23. The flashlight is hands down the most useful from door 90 to door 99. For this key reason, snare. Goddamn snare. You literally can't see this guy if you don't have a flashlight and your your foot's gonna get stuck and you're just gonna get you're gonna get knocked out by a rush coming down the, the courtyard, my guy. Having a flashlight in this area makes this whole area literally a cakewalk and I get I get like genuinely PTSD, like I'm shaking if I go in that area without a flashlight because I know my ass is about to get snared and it will not be a good time. Fact number 24. So if the flashlight dies in your hand and you don't de-equip it, you can actually move around the map with the dead flashlight in your hand. But if you de-equip it, you're not able to re-equip it until you find some more batteries. And that's everything I know about the flashlight. If I missed something, let me know in the comments. And if you guys want more of these little fact videos on the items from doors, because I have a lot of facts, trust me, just leave a like and let me know. See you in the next vid.